Greetings and welcome to Train Mechanics Simulator 2017. I'm Catherine of Sky, and I think we're going to choose the orange train. Not because it's orange, but because of this very tasty income of a thousand and a possible one thousand dollar bonus. So let's accept this and get to work. See what's going on with this. It appears that the brake system is damaged. Find the cause of the defect and make repairs. So it only has one part. That's pretty interesting. Is it this truck? Do we see anything that looks fishy here? Brake, brake, brakes. Where's the brakes? Wait. Brake calipers. This is looking really raunchy here. Let's see if it's this um, brake calipers that are the problem. Nope. Aha, this wheel axle is really looking pretty bad. So is that all we need to do is take the wheels out? I say that and then you probably have to take out all of this stuff to get the wheels out. Uh, it looks like on this thing, yeah, we only have one part to sort out, so let's get disassembling. I feel like we're going to have to take apart the entire train. Uh, yeah, the entire loco, basically. Oh my god. At least the wrench feels a little bit, little bit faster. Not totally, totally faster, but... Okay, we need to take out drive gears, which we need to take out these things. Electric motor trip shaft thingy. Brake calipers. Boom. This one also. I I am truly glad that the game like allows you to wait, what what goes off of there? Is it this thing? Aha! Damper of axle box. Wow. See, this is the thing. This is kind of like I mean, obviously, trains don't need to have their wheels replaced very often, but uh, I, I mean, probably in comparison to other parts, at least that's what I'm guessing. Um, this is what happens when you buy a car where they have to, you know, service the air filter by taking the entire engine out. That's why the car repair is so expensive. Axle box. Okay. Can we finally get this thing? Yay! We've got the wheels out. All right. So, let's see if we can repair any of this stuff. Okay, go to the mechanical bench. Yeah, 100% chance. Awesome. Okay, great. Is there anything else I should repair? I can... How far... How close am I on my, my money? Minus 76,000. That's, that's interesting. Um, I kind of am tempted to repair this part here. Yeah, I'll just get the brake caliper as well. Okay, cool. Nice. So let's put a number of these things back in. I'm gonna have to go with the wheels first, then the wheel boxes, axle boxes. Oh darn, I didn't realize that one was at 90 as well. Let's put in this axle box. Gotta get the wheels situated here. What else? Okay, these other things. Drive gears, select, shove it on. Engine mounting. Hey, cool. You can almost do two at once that way. Okay. Huh? Wait. Need that thing. Electric motor rotor tip shaft. That sounds extremely complicated. Nope. I have to go on the other side for that one. Brake caliper, shove on. There we go. What else we got? We need this thing. The damper of the axle box. Yes, very important, I imagine. I have 
to say, this gives me a very fascinating look into how trains work. Um, I do like um, trains and model railroading as well, and I have this lovely little, um, very funky little uh, locomotive, but I forgot the name of it. So, oh, it's a, actually, it's a two truck Shay used on narrow gauge railroads. Very, very cool. My little model is actually functional. Uh, in terms of those things. Okay, so we are doing really well. We got our bonus for low cost. We got income 2000. Let's finish the order. Boom. So anyway, I love the way all the little gears and stuff spin around. It's just incredible to watch. But it's neat looking at all these different kinds of parts. Okay, I think we'll... Let's go and tow this guy in. I thought it was going to take me somewhere, but no, I have to walk to the door myself. Not a problem. I can do this. Yes, leave the garage. But yeah, it's really, really cool. And I used to hate those local. I thought, oh my God, in Railroad Tycoon, they're so slow. Um, and now I know why they're slow, because they're meant to go slow. And they're not meant to race up mountains, because they need more horsepower and pulling power rather than speed. Okay, in A4, so where is A4? It's, wow, all the way over here. Okay, so it looks like we're gonna have to go around this way, I think, okay. So, but anyway, yeah, and the thing is, is that like Railroad Tycoon 2 didn't really give you the, the proper context for that. You know, because most of, you know, if you were to, to use one of those um, in real life, you know, you'd use it on a very, very, very tiny short section of track and then take the logs via a regular freight train um, that had a little bit more speed or whatever um, to the main selling place that you were going to sell stuff. Okay, let's go and see where we're going here. Okay, this will take us to A4. We'll figure out which of these lines it is on. But in the meantime, we can just watch in the rain as we go along. That's lovely. A little bit of rain spatter on our, or is that, that's actually light. No, it is, it is, it is light and rain spatter. So we'll check out the, um, the environment here. It's quite beautiful. So anyway, it, it never paid obviously to use those locomotives in the game because I was like, oh my God, they're so slow. Um, they were useful for certain things. Anyway, and then I was like, oh my god, now I know why they are so slow, is because they have this awesome little grasshopper looking, chewing up mechanism with the wheels, and it's really cool and anything. It, it really looks awesome when it's, when it's functioning. Alright, but here we are in a diesel locomotive, not a steam one. Okay. And we'll see how far, how close are we? We are fairly close. I'm just going to have to see which branch of the area it is. We'll go along the left side and then we'll go along the other sides. Hopefully we can see it uh, and we won't have to go two different ways. Or we could even back up uh, depending on our proclivities at the time. So I just want to check this out and see if we can, can we see it from long distance away? Okay, not yet. Not yet. We shall one day see things that are cool. We'll see stuff in the green mists. Oh, here we go. We can actually see it. Slow down a little bit. These trees are quite nice. Those ones had flowers. That's nice. So the green mist is on the right. So let's go right here. Aha! We have found it. At least it seems like it's on the right. We are going so slow. Hopefully we can get this um, loco and then tow it back fairly quickly. And here we are. Boom. Oh, no, 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 no. Really? Ugh. It derailed. Oh my god, another one of these things. Okay, fine. Oh, 
Oh. Okay, I was going far too fast there. Okay, let's ease it in here. Alright, let's go X. I didn't- I thought it was gonna be like regular towing, not... Uh, okay. Okay. Try to grip this up, put it in the center. Get the line down, press C to attach. Uh, up, QF. No, not QF, QE. For height. There we go. It is off the ground and I am holding it very high. Let's go this way. I think I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit better at operating this crane than I was last time. I'm gonna try anyway. There we go, get it past the tree. That's pretty darn good. Why did it not click into place? Um, let's lift it up a little bit. Right, is that the right way? There we go. Let's rotate it, possibly. It's gonna be, I didn't realize it was gonna be so exacting. Is that right? No. Okay, lift it again. Is that good? No? Nope, that's not what I want at all. I wanted uh, E for heights. There we go. So, why are you not working, thing? Two meters distance angle is wrong. Okay, I've not even noticed that little box there. 78. Oh, it's backward. That's why. Does it really want me to turn it all the way? Really? It wants me to turn it around. Okay, so that makes zero sense to me. It can be turned around very easily in, um, yeah, that's, okay. <laughs> that's kind of silly, I have to say. Very, very silly to make me turn it around on a crane uh, when it can go to a roundhouse or something like that and just be turned around or turn around even on the tracks around the area. Okay, we will turn it around. Fine. Okay, let's see where we want to go. We'll go down this way. I think that'll be easy. Let's go this way. What else we've got? Okay. And then go there, and then we'll go around, I think. Okay, cool. Oh, wow. There's like a seaside lake thing. Wow. Pretty. I haven't been in this area before. It's so lovely. I like it. Aw. Wow, those look like castles over there. That is seriously funky. Ha! <laughs> that is so... It is a castle. Look at that. It's got little crenellations and everything. How lovely. It's, it is very odd to see this, like, you know, modern day locomotive next to a very fanciful looking castle, I have to say. But it's very pretty. I like it. Now, how are we going? We're doing just fine. All switches are set so that we can end up. Oh, and there's like a little, um, yeah, very cute Victorian little town here, area. I think the devs must have had just like a lot of fun designing the buildings and just coming up with different themes for different areas. That's kind of like what it looks like to me. Oh, hey, there's a person waiting at the tracks. Are people living here? How nice. What is that? It's like a 
Oh, it's a trade tunnel. Oh, cool. All right, we are heading for home. Oh, it automatically slows down on curves. <laughs> Nice. Well, I'm glad it does because I would not wish to derail and try to get myself up with a crane. That could be extremely inconvenient. All right. We are almost back at the base. Base at the... <laughs> at our um, mechanical shed. Okay. In our workshop. That's what it's called. Let's go to the workshop. See how we might fix this little beauty. All right, we need four different parts. Find the cause of the defect in the traction motors. Okay. All right, I don't know where the traction motors are, but I'm gonna have a go. Uh, truck frame, wheel axle, thing stuff, brake thing. Oh, hey, motor stuff. Are you looking a bit, sorry. See? No, three. It's three. Aha! Drive gear is unhappy. Motor cover is unhappy. This is also unhappy. What about this stuff? That's alright. These are also okay. Hmm. So that's only three parts. Let's see if we go... Uh, whoops. Can we go to the other... The other truck is it in this one that we have problems also let's go to one is there anything that looks these things look a bit not great hmm well maybe it's just the one truck over there This thing? Maybe. Nope. This thing. Yes! Aha! I found it. Alright, so let's take apart this whole thing. Oh god. These again. <laughs> this game loves to make me take... I wonder if I can get, like, in, a, in an alignment to take out two at the same time. Not really. That's okay. We're good. We'll get them out. Well, it's better than taking out the, the things for both trucks. Um, just doing one with several parts that are kind of nested in inside is a lot better, I think. Okay, this has got to go also. Okay, this one also has some nice fancy mounting thingies. take this thing off first and this thing okay that thing goes off now this thing now this thing ah we will get them off you want to come off too no you're okay all right let's get out of here and do we did we find everything yes we did good so let's go to our mechanics workbench <sighs> okay let's start off with this thing okay and this thing. Okay, engine mounting. Yeah, I'll take that. I can repair that. But this other thing, the drive gear, is only at 31% chance. I am not going to spend $35,000 and then fail. So let's buy a drive gear on our tablet. Drive. Does it search? There we go. Add to cart. So, note to people, pressing enter doesn't work, you have to click filter. Okay, let's order this. Yep. Let's leave, and I want to go to my parts warehouse. I sell this one. Okay, good. Let's go back to the logo. Shove all these things back in. 
2 installation mode. Okay, I like these slip-on parts. They work for me. Okay, good. Get this electric motor mounting bracket. So I haven't been doing any extra fixing, like on some of these things that were like at 90% or 92%, but it's kind of like, I don't want to do anything extra in case I run out of money. And then I don't know if the same locomotives are going to come back. I mean, are those parts going to go to like 80% and then I'd have to take up a whole thing? Or are these all unique um, engines that are coming back? Do the same ones come back? I don't know this, but I'm not risking it at the moment. Um, yeah. Okay, nice. And we'll shove this one back on. And that was a fairly quick repair, actually. Not too bad at all. Oh, and by the way, to screw these things in, you don't actually have to spam click. You can just hold the mouse button down and they go in nice and easy. All right. So... What do we have? Everything sorted. Came in under budget. Get nice bonus for this. Boom. Okay, so we get 500 for the regular thing and 500 for low cost. So we get a thousand altogether to spend on our workshop. Let's go ahead and do that. Oh, I forgot to spend the last bunch. Ooh, okay, let's improve hydraulics and electrical. We haven't really had a lot of these at all to repair, um, but I assume that's because we're working on a diesel instead of like a steam engine would have more hydraulics and then obviously electrical would have more parts dealing with electric trains. But unfortunately, that is all the time we have for this episode. So thank you so very much for joining me. Take care of yourselves and each other and I'll see you next time.